Hello, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Okay, in this particular tutorial, uh, what I'm going to assume is you know how to take a picture with a green screen and set the light, but sometimes you will get a green color come through. And you could, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this uh, green color, like on the edges and stuff. And so as you look through these pictures, here's some black and white ones, you know, you could still see that green on the side there. And, uh, you know, it, it's really it's cumbersome, especially whenever you're working with, with different backgrounds and you want to get that green out. Now here's an example where I was able to get uh, a lot of the green out that was shining through on the green screen. Here's another one uh, that we worked with it. And it's the color replacement tool. But uh, so first of all what you'll do is you'll be taking a picture of the subject and here we have attorney Michael Kivigan, probably the, what the best attorney in the Youngstown, Ohio area. So if you're looking for an attorney, this is the guy to talk to, okay? But uh, you'll notice, uh, you know, the first thing we need to do is cut out the background. And having it on a green screen is nice because we can either, you know, use it to, as a movie or just, just cut it out. Now, what I like to do is I like to use my Smart Select tool. And I'm going to go over Turn and Kivel again here with all his, trace it around and show you a couple things. That we need to do. Uh, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is if you have this little uh, thing right here, saying uh, thumbnail, smart object thumbnail, right click and resaturize that layer. And it's going to be easier for you to work with. And then just continue on with your smart select, uh, smart selection tool. Get the things that you want in the picture. You know, you can you notice his hand cut, the cuffs on his hand, and hair is always an issue. You know, especially whenever you have a couple coming out. All right, so that that looks okay. It looks decent. But I'm, what I'm going to do is hold alternate down on my keyboard. I'm going to zoom in. You can see I have some hair up here that's kind of sticking out a little bit, you know, which is a, a natural look. And what we want to do is make sure that we get all the hair in there. All right. Okay, and then so we got some things on his beard here that we need to take care of and you know that we're gonna get that green coming through there you know even after we we make this cutout so I'm gonna scroll down here maybe zoom out see if there's any places that I need to uh, go in and edit a little bit here I notice I have to take this out of the picture so I'm gonna hold my alternate button down and anything I want to cut out um, you know I'll, I'll hold that alternate button down and then select what I want cut out the things that I want to be in I just start making the selection okay now I, I got a pretty good selection here but what I'm going to do is go up here and click refine edge and this is going to help give me a little bit better idea of what's going on here and I could use smart radius you know it's going to really help that picture come out be a lot more crisp now I got some green up here but I'm going to show you how to deal with that in a minute uh, I got my settings pretty much the way I want. Uh, you'll notice if we bring up the feather that I'm going to lose some of the subjects. So I want that down enough to where I'm getting a good, crisp, clean uh, cut. You know, everything's pretty smooth. I'm going to click OK. <clears throat> now, whenever I uh, come back here, I might have to reselect some. Notice I'm getting a little bit of his ear missing, so I'm going to hold my Alt button down and zoom in. I'm going to come here, I'm going to select some of that hair that I need in there, and the ear, I'm going to reselect it, so I make sure that I'm getting all of his ear in there, uh, over on this side as well, and then I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to right click, select inverse, and just simply hit delete like that. Now, if we take out these background, hold on, let me uncheck these backgrounds so we get that. Uh, transparent you're gonna find out especially whenever I have this red you see how the the green is on the chair there and it's down here and then a lot of in the outer so what I want to do is I want to hit this if you hold down you'll see this color replacement tool okay now uh, for instance on the chair I'm gonna zoom in on this chair all right now I'm gonna hold my alt button down I want I want it to be this black color right so I'm gonna hold my alt button down the eyedropper appears I'm gonna click once and then where whatever color I want to replace is where I want to hover over and you'll notice 
it does a pretty nice job replacing the green without making it looking so uh, bad okay so if I zoom out you can see that the green is gone okay now here's a little piece of green that I just want to get rid of right so I'm just gonna go up here hit my magic wand tool just like this hit that and then maybe grab my eraser tool over here on the left um, or magic eraser and then I'm just gonna erase that out of there like that okay now you'll see right away that I have some of that green outline that I want to get rid of. So once again, I'm going to go to my color replacement tool. I'm going to zoom in on this, okay? Hold my eyedropper down, hit the black selection, and then <clears throat> now if I want to uh, shrink this down, I'm going to hit my cur left curly bracket on my keyboard. Notice how it shrinks it down. If I hit my right curly bracket, it goes bigger, okay? So I want to do this and come put that square right on that green, and this is where I want to start replacement, okay? Now, his pants are a different color, his suit, so I'm going to hold my alt button down, I'm going to grab this little gray color, go right on this green here, put my cross right on that green, and start replacing that green. Now that's, that's a nice little tool so you can get rid of those green colors that you don't want in there. Um, let me move over just a little bit here. And you can see i got some green right here. I'm going to hold my alt button down, I'm going to hit that gray, I'm going to go into this green, and I'm going to start replacing it as well. Okay? And then if you want a larger selection, of course, you could always curly bracket to the right. Okay, so here's some more green over here that I just want to get rid of. I just don't want any, I don't even want it in there. Okay, I'm going to hit delete. Some more green. Right here. Hit delete. All right. And then once again, go to my color replacement tool. Hold my alt button down. I kind of want a darker black right here. I'm going to shrink until I can get that uh, crosshair. When I get the crosshair, I'll put it on that green color that I want to replace. Okay. All right. Now, since I have this highlighted, it's not working. So you got to make sure that you have your selection tool off and then do the color replacement tool. Okay. Let me get one of these little colors here. You can see it works nicely that way. Okay. Oh. Want this color up here. All right. Now we're getting rid of that green. Okay. So that's what we want to do. All right. Okay. So you see this? How this green haunts us if we don't have our subject away from the um, the. You gotta get them away from this the screen a lot of times. Make sure. There's not a lot of light shining on the green screen. Otherwise, you can have stuff like this. But there are ways to deal with it, as I'm showing here. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is pick a color once again. And I'm going to hold my Alt button down and pick this gray color. And you see all this green right here. I'm going to increase my uh, uh, tool, but I want to make sure that I have the crosshairs so I could do a larger area. And see how it removes the green out of that? I hope you can see it on this video. It's supposed to be... High def, and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to remove this. All right. Now I'm holding the button down, and as as I do this, and I want to uh, zoom out, so I hold the Alt button down, and see this green right here. I want to get rid of it. Okay. You can even see some of the green come through on his pants and stuff. So wherever you want that green, put them crosshairs on it, and just go to town. Uh, so here's some more green right here. All right, we just want to kind of get rid of all that. All right. Now the thing is, you'll notice I'm going to hold my mouse down. I'm going to go over his skin just to show you what happens. You know, when we're we're trying to get rid of this green stuff. See, you don't want to use this everywhere because see what it does to his skin. All right. So that's that's kind of like what it's doing. I'm going to hit uh, Control Z and undo what I did, and then just continue on here. But that's how you can go in there and replace this green stuff. You know, get a good color that you want to replace it with and use that color replacement tool. And uh, you can actually cover a large area, larger area by hitting that curly bracket to the right. So I'm just going to go through here and replace all the green that I see. And then I'll come back on the video here and show you my progress.
Okay, I wanted to show you how to get rid of the green out of the hair because, you know, hair is actually, you know, thousands of different uh, colors. But using my color re replacement tool, what I'm going to do is hit several different sections. Like right here, I want to get rid of the green as much as I can. So I can actually hit my magic wand tool uh, over here, hit that green color, and just delete it. And you see how we have his hair coming up there, right? So that's that's part of his hair, but it's all green. So we need to we need to replace it. So we'll, once again, we'll hit our color replacement tool. I'm gonna hold my Alt button down. I'm gonna pick a good hair color in that area. It looks a little darker there. And then I'm gonna put my crosshairs right on there, right? And color that in there. And get rid of that green. And you'll see that get, get, it gets rid of that green pretty nice, especially whenever you're dealing. The best thing to do, like I said, is have that subject get away from the uh, the green screen as much as possible. Now here the hair is a little bit lighter, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, eye drop a lighter color, go over that green, you know, just like that. I'm going to come here, get rid of much of this green as possible, okay. And so now here we have, you know, I've worked on the rest of his suit while I was off. I see a little bit of green down here on the uh, arm that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to eye drop this darker color, go over top of that green, I'm gonna shrink that down so I can see my crosshairs. You can see it very nicely takes care of, care, care of that. And you notice how it's changing the color of his suit because I changed the dark color. I don't want that. But I do want to replace just what whatever's on this arm here okay if there's any green left over and then we'll go ahead and go to a suit grab the color of a suit go over part of that green there and replace that color there and it just it works really good and and so you know if you're into graphics and uh, you know you you had a little mishap during the shoot and you need to take care of that you could take care of that because you know to get these guys back uh, for a photo shoot is harder than than just correcting it in Photoshop. Okay, now a couple other things that I like to do: um, uh, skin tones. And first of all, you got to start off with a good camera. I mean, I my camera is pretty good. It takes 23 megapixels. So what we'll, I'll come over here to the auto tone and the auto contrast. The auto color on Photoshop for some reason really screws up the color. I don't like it. So what I, what I like to do for that is go to image adjustments and then I go down here to vibrance and I increase the vibrance just a little bit, okay, just a little bit and then increase the saturation a little more, give them a little more of a warmy look, you know, warmy look. And uh, then what we'll do is uh, once again focus in on, make sure that we're getting the green. I see a little bit of green like right in this area right here that I want to get replaced. So I'm going to have my uh, color replacement tool. I'm going to hit the lighter side of his hair. I'm going to come down here and replace that. Okay? So that's, re that's a really nice tool to use for color replacement and so on because you'll be able to go in there and get done what you need to get done if you had any mishaps during the photo shoot like I did here. Okay, one more thing I want to show you because I've been questioning about this is, you know, how do you make a black and white image and, you know, get his tie perfect and red like that? And, uh, you know, uh, do all those kinds of things. And I got have another image here, like this one here, where, you know, we made his tie red, you know, because red's a powerful color and this guy's a great attorney. So what we want to do is, you know, uh, manifest that in an image. So one of the things that I'll show you how to do is like right here, let's say that we wanted his tie to be red and then him to be black and white. So one of the first things you want to do is duplicate that layer. So you right click over the layer you want to duplicate. Go ahead and duplicate it, okay? And that'll give you two layers of the same image. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to highlight this tie, okay? We're, we're going to duplicate this layer one more time. So let's just go ahead and duplicate it and we're going to highlight this tie. So we're going to grab our quick selection tool as we did before, I'm going to zoom in here and get everything on this tie. Quick selection tool is a very useful piece of equipment. Hope you get your job quick, done quickly and efficiently. And if you need to, you zoom in and get the things that you need here. So if, if that happens, you hit, can hit Control-Z uh, 
whatnot. So let's see, let's go along this and make sure that we have all of the important parts. Okay, so right here, you know, this is a little black spot. I want to get that out, so I'm going to hold my Alt button down. This will minus the selection. You see that? You hold the Alt button down. I believe it's the Option button on a Mac. I hold that Option button down and get rid of that. All right, so uh, one of the other things that I like to do is my smart radius. So I want to you know, see how that line's kind of crooked and stuff when you get it in there. So I'm going to refine the edge. So I want it to be straighter. So let's go ahead and, you know, maybe feather that a little bit. Okay. Like that, you make the line straighter so it looks good. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is select inverse and just simply delete the rest of that image. Now, we'll just go to the image under the, the layer underneath there. Okay. Now this layer underneath, this image of the tie, you can see it just have the tie in this one. This image here, I'm going to turn to black and white. So I'm going to have that image selected. I'm going to go up here to image and, oh, let's see here, adjustments, and then black and white. Okay. Now this does an okay job, but what you want to do is you want to highlight different sections. So if we, we want to darken the reds a little bit, okay. We darken the yellows a little, just give them a little bit more life in this black and white photo. Darken the greens a little bit. Okay, gives them some more. Um, darken blues just a little bit, the magentas. Gives him a richer look, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is come here with this tie, and I want to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. I'm going to play around, make that tie look just a little bit better, just by going to the right a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Increase the saturation of the tie. Okay, take the darkness down just a little bit. Okay, and that's how we do that. All right, and then with the uh, different backgrounds that we have, you know, he'll look good in probably just about any of the backgrounds um, that we have for this, or just go and fetch fetch some more. But those are those are uh, different tricks that you can do with the black and white and getting the red to stand out, or if you wanted something else to stand out, you just copy it, make another layer and get it to stand out with it that way. Okay, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I don't want to go on and on. I just wanted to show you some neat things about Photoshop and some different tricks that you can use on getting the green out of your image and uh, turning things black and white and so on and so forth. Okay, thanks. Bye.